we're gonna go ahead and light it up again. I guess this is how it begins. Well, you know that the root is always from your parents, you fool, in that way that you acknowledge God. If you don't honor your mother and father, well, then to hell you'll go for sure, because, well, God gave you them, and look, you have ten toes, ten fingers, and you think just right. Well, at least you did before they turned you upside down and got you to curse your mother or father in this life. That's how they root cut you, you know. They get you to throw away your spouse, call God a liar, or they get you to disobey or dishonor your mother and father, you know. The only thing that a son can ever do without fucking his own mother is agree with his father. Don't be a fool. Think about it real clear. This is clear, my dear. If your father is true and in the covenant, then why the fuck should you ever be from him? Now get in it and love it. You fall in line. One day you'll be a father and you'll have a son. Get this through your simple fucking minds. You boys that curse your fathers though. You're sick as shit of disgrace and shame to your father is no glory to you, you know. Maybe you don't. Maybe mama fucked you up so bad. I'm sorry. This is sad. They do like to play. How much more if the stepdaddy partake? They never loved you, boys. They wanted to fuck your mother and all they did was anything they had to do to get to that pussy that they love and not you. They would fucking step on you. They don't call it a stepdad for nothing, man. It's very well said that Joseph made the cross that Christ hung from, man. The reason that God did it so is so that you would understand what a step parent is, you know. Anybody that would call God a lie and then tell you they're with God and they're with Christ how much more when they fuck it up in this life they don't love you they're only wanting to get what they get and they don't mind it at all how much more if they have another wife or how much more even so if they steal their kids I mean come on mamas you're mamas don't you think that men should be able to have an opinion even though you ripped your pussy and bore your kid for so long shedding blood and giving it and it was given by God don't you think men should roll over with an opinion, mama? Come on, you're a mama. Let me hear your drama. Go ahead, mama. Tell me what you think. You've given birth. You've given death for your children. Should people, to, should people be able to take them away? Do they disagree with what you do? Do they not like your habits, your words? Oh my God, did they shed blood or birth it out their ass like a watermelon on this earth? No. No mother does agree. So why do you have mothers sucking the dicks of the cowards that do this shit you see? Because they like idolatry and they'll kill their own fucking kid. They're gone damn goddamn far and sick. Sin. They're gone. They're falling away. They turned to a fucking idol because the opinion that was swayed. Because the husband wasn't on guard. He wasn't giving her the word of God. That's just how it goes. I guess that we all know. And now that we do, well, I guess we're trapped in it too. And what the fuck can you do when everybody wakes up in the same fucking wicked world, you fool? Gonna have to turn to God and be saved. You better wake the fuck up because he's coming. You're in the Noah's day. Motherfuckers are buying and selling wives. Children and shit, taking them with idle lies.